Hey, this is a review of the 112th scale Balrog figure from Storm Collectibles from the Ultra Street Fighter 2 The Final Challengers video game. There's a view of the top of the box, what it looks like. There's artwork of Balrog from the video game. You can see the figure through the clamshell. I like the way uh, Storm Collectibles packages these figures, very nice. Uh, the side has a Balrog illustration. Uh, the back of the box has photos of the figure in uh, action poses from the video game. I like the way it makes it seem as if the fig it's the video game like come to life through the figure. On the side it has that same illustration. Uh, let's open up the box and check out the figure inside. The figure comes with the cardboard that is the character's arcade backdrop in Las Vegas when you're fighting him. It folds open. On the other side, it's the graphic from the explosion when you hit a power move in the video game. Here's everything that comes with the figure in the clamshell. Now let's take them out and get into further detail. These are the three additional heads. The center head is when he's defeated. The bare chest is from when he wins at the end and rips his shirt off. There's the video game effect of smoke from when he charges at you. It's nicely painted and sculpted plastic. Uh, the head to the far right is also the head from the front of the box. You can see the resemblance in the sculpt. That's one thing I love. I love the sculpting and the paint application on this figure. Storm Collectibles did a great job. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison of the figure put in the same pose as the illustration. I do like how you can pose the figure to mimic either illustrations or moves from the video game. Let's check out his articulation. Now let's swap out his torso. There's his victory pose from the video game. And now to reconnect the other piece of Balrog, you can see the inner workings. Put the soft rubber chest piece on top. And here you have the R for the right piece and the L for the left piece. So you know where the plastic sleeve pieces go on the figure. Here he is in a charging pose from the video game. While we take a closer look at the head sculpts again, there he has that serious stare. Here he has the angry face. Here he's beat up. And there he is grinning. Here he is with Sagat and Sangeef. 
the bad guy figures from Storm Collectibles seem more unique. Comparing the boxes between Sagat and Balrog, Sagat's box is a bit taller, but Balrog's is a bit wider. And that's the Storm Collectibles Balrog review.